Joshua Skernick is standing by. And Joshua, we heard uh, from uh, 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 John Cummins a few minutes ago. Uh, give, replay for us. What was the message that John had uh, for his supporters? Obviously disappointed. He finished third in Langley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're definitely right. You got You can understand that he was somber in his speech. He actually walked straight into the, his campaign office and went right to the back to seemingly prepare for what he knew would be a tough speech to make. No candidates elected, only 5% of the popular vote, which is actually more than in 2009 when he got 2%, but still, you know, a small consolation. He says that he won't step down as party leader, though. He will leave that up to a party election that it will come up at a meeting of the party in the next couple of months. But he is still very um, confident in his party. He believes that in the next election they will get someone into office. And he believes that the people of British Columbia do need a choice between the NDP and the Liberals. And he believes that that choice can be the Conservatives. Um, the, uh, Back to you. The campaign, for, uh, the, the campaign for John Cummins, it was a bit of a low-budget affair. I mean, you were trying to keep track. I mean, he was hanging around Langley a lot, yep. basically traveling a van. What was it like uh, trying to keep tabs on him for the last month? Well, i got to tell you, it was pretty interesting. So when you cover campaigns, you expect a lot of times a big-ticket affair, right? Big buses, big uh, you know, production value, right? John Cummins had a white pickup truck going to different communities, spending a lot of time in the northern interior, going to the communities there. These were places that he thought were going to be pretty, uh, I guess, conservative, tired of the same old government, and he thought that he could capitalize on that. But obviously, it did not work out. you got to think that a lot of this has to come from the personnel issues <laughs> that his party has had. The entire communications team quit right before the election. He had to kick out four candidates in one week, about seven days, for issues ranging from an impaired driving incident, uh, misogynistic comics and comments against Christy Clark and the head of the Canadian Supreme Court, uh, an op-ed piece uh, written a couple of years ago about uh, the negative aspect of being a single mother. These are all things that came from the candidates that he said that his party had vetted. And at the end of the day, it really did resonate with voters. A late Ipsos Reid poll showed him as the least trustworthy of all the candidates. So not a very good showing here. But like I said, he is not going anywhere. He says that he is staying as the leader of his party. He will let it uh, go to the party to decide what his role goes uh, is going forward. But he is not going anywhere from the area of Langley. All right, Joshua Skernick, thank you so much in Langley tonight. Uh, appreciate it. Stand by. I may come back to you in a little bit. Cheers.